So, okay, so I want to tell everybody that I brought you in because you've been in my comment. Yes, we got to give a disclaimer. You've been in my comment talking a little crazy. And I'm like, okay, you kind of like inspired the subject because I was like, really? you have so much to say. And I was like, okay, I want you to come and talk to me. And mm -hmm. hopefully we can have a civil conversation. And, and we'll see. All right. All right, so the, the topic is uh, why or how or when did dating in the black community become a war zone? So I'm gonna let you talk because I know you have a lot to say. So I'm gonna let you talk and at some point, you know, I'm gonna interject probably. I mean, I, I personally feel like it started way back with like feminism, like in the 60s, like, you know what I mean? Like I've, I've like this, just from what I've seen, I feel like black women in particular really bought into like white women's movement with feminism and stuff like that. And then it's like, we were always united like in the fifties and sixties with like the civil rights era and stuff like that. Like we were mm -hmm. together, you know what I mean? We were fighting that battle together. Like it's like everything else was going wrong, but we was cool. But then after feminism happened in the 1960s, it was just like, Okay, we, like the women were like, all right, we we got to roll with the white women now, like with with that movement, because this is because now it's women versus men now. So I feel like that's when women started to look at us as kind of like the opposition, like you know what I mean. I I feel like that's when it started, like so, like way before we were probably even born. Probably you know? not. Yeah. So you think that black women decided to go and follow white women? and then we decided to hate on black men? I mean, that's like, I feel like that's like an oversimplification of it, but okay, kind of, yeah, sort of. Sort of, well, um, I, I, I don't know, that's kind of rough. Like, I mean, if that's what it is, I would be very like, um, yeah. I really don't like it because if you want to tell me that we, I mean, I don't hate black men, so I don't want to say we, but that some black women don't like black men because of something that's kind of like a trend that was created by white people. That that sounds kind of crazy to me, you know? But I mean, that, that's what you think. I mean, feminism was an important movement, so like I understand why women, black women wanted to join in with that because mm -hmm. they're part of that, but it's just like, I feel like somewhere in that mix, we became the opposition, you know what I mean? Like we were, we're like the other side, like, you know what I mean? When we were like together. And then um, I, f um, I don't know, like, like, like help me out here. Like, yeah, okay. Why, why do you think that black women hate black men? Why would you say that? Like, I don't, so. I don't, I don't think they hate us, but I feel like, I feel like they've gotten comfortable enough to where they feel like they don't need us, you know, like you know the whole strong. I'm a strong, independent black woman thing. Well, like, yeah. Even yeah. if they feel like that, I still don't feel like they they want to go date other races to go and have kids. I, like I feel like even when they say we don't need men, they don't mean it really, because they still want to have kids. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean. I'll speak from my personal experience. Mm -hmm. Like when I was younger, like a lot of the a lot of the black women, like they like I'm I'm from the hood. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say where I'm from, but like I'm from the hood. Okay. And like my parents raised me like to try to be different from like all the other kids in the hood. You know what I mean? So they they raised me to like speak proper English, you know, like all that type of good stuff. And like a lot of the black women, they just weren't really messing with the dudes that like spoke proper English, didn't have tattoos, weren't thugs, weren't like in, in the streets and stuff like that. Like they just weren't messing with those type of dudes that tend to end up being the good dudes. So and they would just, they would just overlook those type of guys. And I feel like, I don't know, just like a lot of, I feel like that has a lot to do with a lot of the single motherhood problem that we're having now, like the type of guys that they choose and stuff like that. And I feel like that has fueled some of the ire between black women and black men. Cause I hear a lot of, oh, black men don't step up and be good fathers. But then at mm -hmm. the same time, it's like, they choose the type of men 
to tend to not be good fathers. So it's just like, what can you really do, you know? Okay, but in some of your comments, you were saying, well, that's why I don't, do, wait, before I, I miss speak, do you date black women? Uh, generally, not really, no. I haven't been said- for like a long time. Like, so, but when it comes to dating a black woman, you would just smash and, and leave? You wouldn't I mean, try to, I really don't, I really don't, or to be in a relationship or anything. I really don't pay attention to them like that. So like, I wouldn't even be smashing them. Like, I would, I would be talking to like other races of women. Like, it's it's, it's not even like an active like. Oh, I'm not messing with her. It's just like mm-hmm. I, I don't pay attention to them. It's just like, it's like growing up, they wasn't really messing with dudes like me. Like mm-hmm. you know, what I mean? so after a while, it was just like, all right. Well, I'm gonna go over here, you know, with the Latina women or the white women or whoever, whoever was messing with me, you know what I mean? And then it's just like it became my preference. It's like, all right, I guess this is what I'm messing with now. So, so it, it wasn't really like an active like, so like or anything like that for me personally. Did you have a bad experience, or you just decided or felt like black women were I don't know too difficult or? not checking for you or like how did you decide that at some point you were like okay i'm not even gonna check for them i'm just gonna be talking to other races uh did i have a bad experiences uh, yeah i had a lot of them like like tons of them and after a while it was just kind of like it's like when you grow up where i i grew up from, mm-hmm. like, it's mostly black women like that's all that's like that's mostly all that's around so you just never even think to like date interracially. But then after a while, after I was having so many problems with black women, and I, I was just like, you know what? Let me let me see what let me see what white girls are talking about. Let me see what Latinas are talking about. Let me see what Asian girls are talking about. And I it was just a totally different experience, like with different types of women. So Okay, so tell me, so what's the worst traits for you in a black woman or in the women that you've experienced? Because I don't want us to generalize because in the comments it's a lot of yeah, that's why I don't date black girls because they're this and that. And it's like, they make it sound like everybody is the same. And, but I'm sure you didn't experience all women. So mm-hmm. it's like, what was the worst trait that you that you saw in the women that you talked to, in the black ones? Um, a lot of argumentativeness. Um, you said they argue? Yeah, they argue a lot. Um, and that's a problem? I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to Why is that a problem? I mean, if you do some dumb shit, you expect women to just not say anything and just roll with it? No, like, because Latino women will get on your head, like, if you do something wrong. Okay, but, but like, you do like Latinos. Yeah, but, like, how, how do I put this? They'll get on your head if, if you deserve it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like so black women just argue with you when you don't deserve it. Like, like they'll just make an argument out of anything, and it's just like, like I'm just trying to chill. I'm just trying to be cool, and it's just like, you know, like a, a disagreement. They could be like maybe a two out of ten disagreement. They'll mm-hmm. take like a five or a six. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's like I don't know. Like I don't understand it. Like, like I don't like. I would assume because of your accent, you're not American. I would assume. Yeah, I'm not. Where where are you from? If you're, French. From if you're French. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's black people in French. I mean, again, I guess it's not the same culture. Yeah. But still, like, I have friends, like, because I have a bunch of guy friends, and they tell me what you say. They say, you know, we argue. They even tell me I argue because it's like I'm not gonna let you walk all over me if you do some dumb shit, you know. And mm-hmm. maybe maybe I might take it a little like too far. But it's for you to understand to not to not fuck with me like that. Mm-hmm. So I think it's deserved. But for men to be like, okay, you're too argumentative, so I'm gonna go on the other side and see what's up with other races. Not that I'm against anybody uh, dating outside of their race, but it becomes a problem when they say I don't want to date black women. It's it's not just like the, the 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 attitude thing. It's not just that. Now let me let me let me let me be clear. It's it's a cultural thing, I think, because when I've dealt with black women that were like from Africa or mm-hmm. from other places that that aren't the U.S. 
They were cool. None, none of those issues. Like they're mad cool, especially African women. Like the level of respect was just like a totally different level. Like, like I just I would just walk up to like these bad African chicks, like Eritrean chicks that were mm-hmm. just were, like easily nines out of tens. They could have easily just been like stuck up, but they're just like, oh hey, what's up? Da 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 da, blah blah blah. You know, da 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 da. Whereas, like, I feel like the women here, like, especially if they're really attractive, they would just, they would kind of, like, give you the once over, like, like, why are you even talking to me? Like, you know what I mean? It's just a whole different vibe right. with like, women from other countries. But that that's just my personal experience. Mm-hmm. I, I can't really say that that's all of them, but, you know. Yeah, but that's where I have the, the problem with you because it's, like, it's your personal experience and then you make all Black women the same. Like in in the comments, the shit you say, I'm like, yo, like it's it's crazy. But yeah, that's why I only fuck them, and then I leave. Uh, black women don't like black men like express themselves. I'm like, that's not true. I think, and and then it's like we. I mean, not saying that black some black women don't do it, but mm-hmm. then it's like you want to put on the black women the fact that you were not able to get the respect from her. I feel like that's you who have to kind of like impose or like show her how to respect you. And I feel like, and that's why a lot of women nowadays are like thinking that they can do everything and go over people's, you know, and like just treat people badly because people don't check them. I feel like what you just mentioned, I feel like that's part of it. Like a lot of black women, they feel like, like, oh, well, a man can't tell me what to do unless a man can't tell me what to do. I think mm-hmm. uh, Jill Scott said that or something like that on Breakfast Club. Yeah. So basically, she's just like, he has to impose his respect on me. Like, he has to make me respect him. And it's just like, again, from my personal experience, you don't have to, like, tame other cultures and other races of women to, like, I don't know what's a good way to say it without sounding sexist, but, but behave well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could just talk to them like human beings. Like, mm-hmm. you don't have to be like, oh, well, I'm the man, da 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 You don't have to do all that. It's just like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, you're into that? I'm into that, too. Oh, da 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 You know, it's just, I don't know. It's just a different experience, like, from my experience, so. So it's just the other races are a little easier? Not yeah. easier, like, to have sex with, or not on that level, but just easier no, to that. deal with in general? It's That's easier right. to deal with in conversation, easier to deal with when you're like in a relationship, planning a family, like mm-hmm. with, with doing stuff like that. If you're supposed to be whatever the man in the house, you need a certain level of cooperativeness to make that situation flow good. And um, mm-hmm. it's a little bit more challenging, I feel like, with American Black women in particular. What do you think about the money situation? Because it's a lot of issues nowadays with women talking about if he doesn't have that much money, I, I can talk to him. Do you feel like you you encountered that and that with other races, it's less? Like they don't really check your pockets like this? Uh, I don't, that, that, I don't think that's specific to black women. I think okay. that's, I think that's just an American women thing. That's just Western. They want you to have bread. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I've dealt with like Latina women that were foreign. Mm-hmm. They didn't care at all how much money I had or didn't have. You know what I mean? And um, okay. I, like a white girl that was like foreign didn't care. You know what I mean? But like yeah. here, it's just like, you know, you look at not. I'm not saying that shows like Fresh and Fit are necessarily representative of like all American women, but like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a lot of them on there. It'll it'll give you a good example of like the type of stuff we run into. Like, oh, he needs to be six foot five. He needs to make six figures. He needs to do this. He needs to do that. And there's just like all these crazy requirements. And this mm-hmm. is I feel like a lot of the crazy comments that you get in your comment section from people like me and like other dudes, they watch your videos where you have like top ten things a man should do. To, to get a girl to do this and the top 10 things a man shouldn't do. And then it's like number two on your list will be saying he shouldn't do one thing. And then number eight on your list will be saying 
he actually should do it. And it's like so confusing. And men are just like, I don't want to do all this stuff just to talk to a girl and get to know her. Like, I want to be able to just treat her like a human being and mm-hmm. have a conversation like me and you are having right yeah. now. I but, mean, the, the thing with the confusion, it's like, I want to make videos for everybody. So mm-hmm. if you're going to come and date me, you don't need to do all the games and all this shit because I'm not about that. But it's a lot of men that choose the wrong women and that still want to get with them. So it's like, if you want to date a girl that plays game, you have to play game too. Mm-hmm. So that's why, like, if I tell you not to do something, it's because sometimes I talk about different type of women. And it's hard, you know, maybe I should put a disclaimer. Okay, this is for women who play game. If you want a woman who play game, do this. If you want a woman that's straight up, do this. You know, maybe I should be more clear. But I want to tell... I want to try to help or give my opinion mm-hmm. on a bunch of stuff. And it's like, I'm not saying the 10 things you got to do them. I'm just trying to like give you tips on what might work for you, what might not work for you. And you pick what you want. Yeah. You don't got to follow anything. I'm no doctor. I, I didn't do like studies on people. I'm just talking about what I like and what I see some of my friends that are a little different than me. Like, I have friends that do want people with money. I see the games that they run on guys. I see like we're at the bar, they get 10 drinks from the one dude and then leave without even giving a number. So it's like, I, I see all of that. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I think that my main issue that I had with you was that you generalize. And then the shit you say about black women, I can't. Like I am a black woman. I'm not American, but I am black. And I'm like, I can't let you say shit like that. I, I think that's part of the problem is I think you uh, you put yourself in the same boat as American women, and it's not the same. It's not the same. The culture, I'm sure, in France mm-hmm. or wherever you're from, is not, I'm sure, is not the same. The culture in Africa with those black women is yeah. not. That's why they behave differently. That's why their culture is differently. That's why they act differently. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's a different dating experience. And I feel like a lot of black women, like I've gotten comments like that from African women are like, how could you say this about yeah. black women? I'm like, you are not the same mm-hmm. as African American black women. Like you aren't the same. Like me and you, like you would not treat me the way that they do. So it's yeah. like, like, that's kind of where my argument stems from. With that. Mm-hmm. But, but I, my I thing was also part. like, you guys do like those women. As much as you guys don't want to like them, you know, the ones that are maybe a little difficult, you guys are looking for women with, like, with a body, with, like, some somebody that you can, like, show off. A bunch of my guy friends, you know, they would complain about what they go through in the dating scene, but they're picking up girls at clubs not saying a regular girl can be at a club but like yeah. the girl that's sitting in a section that jumps section to section that that's not spending money that has her body done which is fine but it's like with those type of women like you already know what to expect you already know they're looking for somebody with some type of money and to be taken care of so yeah. that's why I'm like, sometimes I'm hard on them because I'm like, why are you going for those type of women? Yes, they look good, but you already know what they're looking for. So then when you come back and complain about, oh, she wants this, she want a bag, she want me to buy her car, she want me to pay her rent. I'm like, what are you expecting? That's the girls that you you want. So now you got to deal with it. But well, where are the girls that aren't like that? Like where, like where they at? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go other places. You gotta go to, again. I then, gotta move about the country. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But maybe a girl like you know how nowadays uh, social media want to tell you that people um, that the nine to five is not cool. Maybe you gotta look for a girl that's a nine to five, that's like a nurse or like the the regular job that they might not make crazy money. Or they might, who knows? But you gotta go like to other places. I always tell my friend, if you're tired of the girls from the club, stop going to the club and go to somewhere like maybe a a hotel bar or hotel restaurant where there is like business people like that um that are not like bottle girls or I don't know or girls who don't even have a job that just look good and they're getting paid for look for looking good. Yeah, I would I would never date a woman that I. From the club, like basically, but that's just. But, but there's good girls that go to the club too, so that's why I'm like, it's it's not bad. It's just, I think you guys 
complain, but you see those women, you know who you're dating. It's not like the girls who want your money. It's not like they're acting like, no, I don't need money. You know, it's like, you know. So then when she, she tries like to swerve you and get your money, you want to tell me there's girls that you don't know they want your money? That's not true. Or, or then it's on you, or then it's on you that's not, that is not good maybe at reading, reading the, the woman. But I'm telling you, a woman with money, you would know. Mm -hmm. I, I think you will. Mm -hmm. But you're saying, no, they're hiding it good. And then eventually they come out and they're like, OK, how much you have in the bank? No. It's like they want to go to the nice restaurant. They mm -hmm. want you to take her shopping here and there, you know? Yeah. So the Earlier that I was going to comment on, I forgot what you said. It just slipped my mind. Yeah. But um, I mean, is there anything else that I because I went off a lot in your comments? Like, is there anything else I said that you kind of? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't think it was you. I think it's OK. Oh, I have something. Yes, because every time that somebody in the comments say something nice about me, you want to say that they're simps. And I'm like, oh, so now giving a compliment to a woman is being a simp. And I'm like, that's lame. Like, if I see you and I say you're good looking, then what am I? Like, I, to me, giving a compliment doesn't tell you what a man is. And I feel like it's, especially like, I mean, I know it's internet, it's YouTube. I do be trolling. I do be trolling. I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, okay. But every time I see somebody saying something and then I see there is a little reply and it's you saying you're a simp. You're a simp. Simp mentality. I'm like, let the people be. Like, if somebody want to give me a compliment, it's okay. I'll take it and I like them. Yeah. And then there's a, another guy that talks with you pretty often and he says um he told me that uh, the type of tops I'm wearing uh is oh, yeah. uh, only yeah. for attention and then because of those tops people don't take me seriously. I don't give a fuck if people don't take me seriously. If I want to wear some shit that I want to wear that I think is pretty, I'm a fucking weird. I do not give a fuck what people are going to think about what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Because that was, that was his comment. I didn't have a problem. With that, 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 no, he told me, I mean, at the end, he told me he didn't have a problem with it either, but he was just saying, you know, you're an uh, attention seeker. And and I'm like, okay, call me whatever you want. I'm still going to wear whatever the fuck I want because <laughs> that's my channel. I do what the fuck I want on there, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I mean, you guys can talk. It's It's no big deal, but it's, Sometimes you guys go overboard and I'm like, you guys talk so, talk so much trash about women. And I'm like, it shouldn't be. Like, I think you only encounter the women that, because I feel like people, when you pick somebody, it's really a, a reflection of yourself. So if you went and picked those black women that were wrong for you, and then at the end you want to tell me, oh, fuck black women, that, that's, that's kind of lame because you picked her. Mm -hmm. So you pick now, the wrong women. Now I'm probably a little bit older than you think. Okay. But I'll I'll, I'll say it like this: you're, you're talking like 20 years of dating black women, and it's just like, all right, let me try something different. It, it, it's not just like you. So you, you dated. Like, so you old. dated black women for a long time. That's what you're saying. Like, like yeah, like I started out with black women because that's all that was around. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I remember what you said earlier. You said, "Well, why don't we go look for those type of girls that, you know, we're we're." You said that we're intentionally going out and dating certain types of girls that have certain types of behavior. Why don't you go out and find those type of girls that are like how you want? And we do, and they tend to not be, you know, mm -hmm. they're real African American girls. So, like a lot of just say like nerdy, smart you know, whatever black guys, you know, they, they end up either not getting chose by black girls or mm -hmm. just not getting paid attention to. And they're like, all right, I'm gonna go start dating white girls and then, or whoever, or whatever race of girls. And then they end up with that girl or whoever, and they're cool, you know? Yes. And, I, and I see that a lot in the comments too, from black women. They're like, oh, like, like black men always, you know, do this, do that, and they become set successful, and, and they date out, and da, da, da. well, it's like that's why the type of guys that end up becoming. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm a successful guy. I'm just a regular. Mm -hmm. dude. I'm just a regular income guy, but like, 
the dudes that grew up like me that were that weren't like super street or super thugged out you know they were like stayed in school and they they were about their books and stuff like that those tend to be the type of black dudes that become successful mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of black girls in the comments get salty when the dudes that they didn't choose become successful and i i i was always confused about that it's like yeah. you want them when you were 20 why do you want them now that you're 35 like i don't i don't get it but yeah what do you think about that uh i i don't i mean to me it's kind of fucked up i mean to me it's not even a, a call it thing it's more like if i held you down when you didn't have shit now that you come up you leave me and go get like the i don't know a better looking women or i don't know what you're why you're leaving me but yeah i would be salty because i was like when you were not much i i was there i was there for you i helped you and now you you're successful and you leave me to me that i i feel a little used and now yeah. that you feel now you feel like i can get a better woman so i'm gonna go get a better one no, I'm not talking about the black girls that were with black guys when they were younger. I'm talking about like the black girls. They're like, oh, I'm not really messing with that that guy. And then mm -hmm. later on, when that guy goes on, to, oh, when he gets money, then they want him. And then then they want him, but he's he ends up being with another nationality girl mm -hmm. because that's all he had available to him. He didn't have black girls, yeah, because they didn't make themselves available. I guess. Yeah. Like I'll use I'll use an example. I always use this example, like in the comments. Um, I hate to say names, but L Varner, the singer, right? Okay. Or have you heard of her? But yeah. Donald Glover, are you familiar with him? The actor yeah. or whatever. Like he wanted to talk to her. He's black. She's okay. black. She wasn't messing with him. He was a nerd. He was corny. She wasn't messing with him. And then it's just like after a while he was like, all right, like, I ain't trying to wait around for you or whatever. She kind of brushed him off. Mm -hmm. he, he ended up marrying a white girl and she was on Twitter trying to like get a date with him. She's like, Hey, I'm still down for that date. And, and it's just like, he wanted to that. That's wrong. But, but it's like, that's, that's so common. I feel like that's so common. Like, why is that so common with American black, some, some black women are just after the money and money success fame whatever clout so what when it, when they see the, that what is it about that that's so appealing like why why is a guy that like like a blue collar guy that say makes just as much as mm -hmm. you do say or whatever yeah you know like why why is that unappealing nowadays it, it used to be acceptable like back in the 60s you had a hard you had a hard work i'm not that old but like mm -hmm. you had a hard working man and like you had a married couple and like they got together and they made it work. Like, mm -hmm. But that's not, that's no longer like palatable. It's like, he's got to have six figures now. And it's just like, when did that, like, when was that not good enough? Like, I think it's just society. Society wants to put in a head that being famous is the way to go. And, and that's what people want. They want to be seen. They want attention. They, they want to post those pictures on Instagram and some people just live for that. And then sometimes with the celebrities, you know, they want somebody that's on. So it gives them more clout for themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, it sucks, but uh, hey, that's the country we live in. That's the era that we're in and we just got to deal with it. And I guess, I guess at the end of the day, if black women didn't work for you, it didn't work for you. And then it's fine mm -hmm. to go date other races. It's mm -hmm. just, don't be saying black women, I just fuck them and I leave them. That's all. No, it wasn't. I, the, that is not exactly what I said. What yeah, I, you said probably something worse. <laughs> what, what I did say was women that act like how you describe in your videos, mm -hmm. those, those are the type of women that men identify like, okay, they play games, they're this type of woman. And those are the type that you just have fun with, you date around with them, basically mm -hmm. you sleep with them and you have your fun with them for the time you have your fun with them. And yeah. really their mindset, like playing games and all that is not really conducive to a relationship or a long-term like family building and stuff like that. So you don't, use those women for wives like you just date them like if they if they look good and you like them you date them yeah but that that's what i was saying it wasn't specifically towards black women that's any women 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't like like girls that are doing all this stuff. You're, you're like, oh, if you if you uh, call her too much, you call her too little, and you got to do this and do that. And it's just like, mm -hmm. if I got to do all that, and I can't just be myself around my woman. Then she's not probably she's probably not wife material. That's how I feel personally. Okay. Um, but. Um, all right. Well, well, thank you for joining because uh, I wanted you to join so bad, and I was like, I don't know if he's gonna want to show his face. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hopefully, next time I get the other guy. There's another guy that's always talking shit too. So, did you get the other guy that that uh, is? No, nah, he's eating? not. Here. He's not here. I have people waiting right now, but he's not in. Oh, okay. So we'll see. Maybe he's watching. Maybe I'll come on. Yeah, if you have another topic, you know, I'm 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 game. Come on. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining. All right. It's nice talking. All right. Nice talking to you. All right. Peace. Bye.